Welcome to another edition of Biloxi A to Z. It's your insider's guide to what's happening in Biloxi. This is for Friday, January 28th, 2022. The February newsletter is coming your way in a day or two, and it's the Fred Hayes issue. We'll have a preview. We'll also talk to a couple of chiefs in the Biloxi Fire Department about some new apparel available to the public. We'll hear from a couple of police officers about a new relief effort. We're wrapping up another month of programming on BTV and launching a new one on Tuesday. We'll also have your weekend preview, the weather, and of course, the COVID-19 update. But today, we begin with fresh video from Division Street, where the city and Keesler are working on a new gateway into the Air Force Base. There's still much work to be done, such as relocating some utility poles, wrapping up the curbing, sidewalks, and of course, laying some asphalt. But the footprint of the new Division Street is taking shape. When all is said and done, you'll see easy access to the base's main gate, a four-lane boulevard from I-110 to Forest Avenue, where the new roundabout is already in place. One thing you won't see is wiring, all utility lines will be underground in this section of Division Street, providing a cleaner, clearer, less cluttered streetscape. This project at nearly $40 million in federal, state, and city funding is going to be a great economic development corridor into Keesler. We'll keep you posted as progress continues. CSX, in response to a city request a while back, is installing crossing gates at the Rodenburg Crossing in West Biloxi. Work should be wrapped up shortly. Use caution in the area and, frankly, at any of the more than two dozen rail crossings in Biloxi. Hi, this is Chief Geyser. Hi, and I'm Assistant Chief Davis with the Biloxi Fire Department. There's a lot going on in the Biloxi Fire Department, and we just want to catch you all up on what's happening uh, with your wonderful Biloxi Fire Department. We just finished up with eight new recruits coming to the Biloxi Fire Department. Graduation just took place. We're so excited to have them. They have been a great asset to us. Um, our Deputy Chief of Training, Chief Small, did an outstanding job. We have some new members and you can look forward to seeing them in the community uh, coming out and serving you. So we're excited about that. So say hello to them when you see them throughout the community. Another thing that we've been doing in the fire department is visiting different truck manufacturers to find the best and most cost effective uh, fire apparatus that we can get. Uh, we have three trucks that we need to replace that are up in the wool market uh, area that was annexed back uh, 20 plus years ago. Those uh, vehicles are getting to the point that need to be replaced and they'll go into our reserve fleet. So we have visited Pierce Manufacturing in Wisconsin. We visited Rosenbauer Manufacturing in Minneapolis and South Dakota. Cold. <laughs> in the very extreme cold. And we just got back from E1 uh, down in Ocala, Florida, which is the brand that we have had for the past 40 years. All are great trucks, and now we're trying to put the, uh, the pieces together and see what's going to be best to serve our community. I'm very excited about uh, our relief fund. Uh, Mardi Gras is coming, and we want you all to be looking for uh, these new shirts that uh, we have coming out uh, for Mardi Gras. So we are excited. So this is how we support our Biloxi Firefighters Relief Fund. This relief fund is an asset to the fire department. It's something that we use to help firefighters that are in need, that fall on hardship. Um, it's a very, fun, very good fund that really helps out them in a time of need. But this is one way that we raise money to support the relief fund. It's fun for our firefighters and cheap geysers that have allowed us to uh, let this be a part of the way we raise money with the t-shirts. Yes, and we've got two locations that you can pick up the t-shirts. One is Station 1 right there at the Public Safety Building. And the other is Station 7, the new Station 7 up by Cedar Lake and Pops Ferry. Uh, both have a, uh, a large assortment of sizes. And each shirt is $20. You can uh, do by cash, check, or there is a PayPal set up under relief fund at biloxi.ms.us. Also, one other item that we have about to roll out in the next month in February will be our new air packs. We have gone and extended the life of the air packs that we currently have as far as we can. And we received a grant, we applied for and received a grant at the end of last year that allowed us to replace every air pack, every bottle, every mask in the department 
with all the accessories and training that we need. So on each truck, we will be applying these new air packs that are state of the art. They apply to uh, all NFPA standards and beyond, and will really be a great asset to the, to the, the firemen and the uh, safety of our, of our members. Real quick, I want to remind you all, it's getting colder, it seemed like, toward the end of this uh, winter season. Uh, we actually had some working fires in the, right here not long ago, so remain safe. Make sure you uh, use your space heaters in a safe way, and also make sure you practice all fire safety. Uh, because we are here to serve you, but we really don't want to have to come out, especially if you can do your part. We'll be glad to do ours, but let's be safe. Hey, it's Captain Goldsworthy with the Biloxi Police Department. I'm here with Christy, and we want to ask your help for raising donations. And the donation is going to go towards the Colorado wildfires that occurred recently. And the reason that we're involved in this, I'm going to let Christy explain. I actually just moved to the Biloxi Gulfport area about a year and a half ago. I am a retired Louisville police officer, and I served with the Louisville Police Department for 20 years. Um, I know many of the families that were affected by this, the last count I knew I was up around 90 families that I knew that have lost everything and lost their homes. Um, it's a great community and any kind of support would be, would be very welcomed. So what we're trying to do with Christy's help and the connections she has is we're looking at the area for Superior, correct? And um, Louisville. Louisville and then also the Boulder County area of Colorado, correct? That's correct. All right, so if you don't know, over 6,000 um, 6, acres were destroyed and over 1,000 structures were um, pretty much destroyed, just much like Biloxi area after a major disaster with Katrina. So we personally know what that's like as a Gulf Coast community. And so many people came in and assisted us. We want to be able to do the same for those throughout the areas, just like we recently did with Kentucky. And with Christie's contacts, we are setting up to take donations. And because it's such a far distance, we're not gonna take the normal donations. What we're gonna go with is gift cards and money donations that you can either bring down to the Biloxi Police Department, or you can mail to the Community Relations section at 170 Porter Avenue, Biloxi, Mississippi, 39530. And with those help, Helping donations, what we can do is put all that together and send it to the two cities in that county area that we just talked about. Now, do you still keep in contact with everybody there here recently and see how they're doing? I do. Um, there's several uh, people that I've talked to that um, have lost their homes. They are staying with family and, and friends and everything, but um, the community is very affected by this. So, so remember... In our time of need, everybody came and helped us. Now it's time for us to return that favor. The nation came together for us. Let's come together for Colorado area. Let's help these families out like we were helped out. The quicker we can get the donations, the quicker we can send off and get everybody what they need to get back on their feet. BTV this weekend is wrapping up its January lineup and on Tuesday, February 1st, a lineup of updated programming makes its debut. You'll see a special presentation on Fred Hayes, as well as, just in time for Mardi Gras, step-by-step -step directions on how to ball crawfish. Of course, you can see the listings for BTV and a whole bunch of other Biloxi news in the February issue of B News Monthly. It's arriving in homes and businesses across Biloxi in the next couple of days. You can see it right now, right here, online. And now this. It's a story 52 years in the making, but delayed by the start of the pandemic and health concerns. And now, Biloxi's most famous native son is going to be landing in Biloxi on a milestone day, a Super Sunday, February 13th at 1313. Be on hand for the dedication of the Fred Hayes statue south of the Biloxi Lighthouse on Sunday afternoon, February 13th. 
Case numbers and hospitalizations continue to be high. As of Wednesday, January the 26th, the health department reports more than 6,000 new cases of the virus statewide in a 24-hour period. 19 deaths were also reported. In Harrison County, more than 400 new cases of COVID-19 were reported on Wednesday and one new death. Overall, more than 700,000 cases of the virus have been reported throughout Mississippi since the pandemic began in early 2020. And more than 10,000 Mississippians have died from COVID-19. In Harrison County, more than 45,000 cases of the virus have been reported with 582 deaths at the hospitals. As of January the 24th, more than 1,400 people were in Mississippi hospitals with COVID-19. 308 of those were in intensive care units. Along the coast, 212 people were hospitalized with the virus and 38 of those were in intensive care units. As for Mississippi's vaccination rate, as of January the 25th, 45% of the population is fully vaccinated and 45% of Harrison County residents are reported as fully vaccinated, according to the health department. For more information about vaccinations, links to appointments, and safety protocols, visit the city's website at biloxi.ms.us. You may also call the Mississippi COVID-19 hotline at 877-978-6453 to schedule a COVID-19 vaccination. The weather this weekend is forecast to be sunny and clear with highs in the upper 50s and lows in the 30s. Well, if you're looking for some live entertainment this weekend, there's plenty happening. Over at the Coast Coliseum, Riley Green will be performing tonight. Rodney Carrington will be at the Beau Rivage and Travis Trent will be at the IP Casino. On Saturday, Rodney Carrington will hold his second show at the Beau Rivage and the Man in Black tribute to Johnny Cash will be at the Hard Rock. Also on Saturday, the Casino Bridge Run, which is a 5K and a 10K, would take place in East Biloxi. Also, the Gun and Knife Show would take place throughout the weekend at the Coast Coliseum. For more information on these events and to see a list of other happenings, check out the Biloxi Community Calendar in the January edition of B News Monthly. It can also be viewed on the city's website by clicking here. We leave you today with one of our favorite videos, something we came across a while back while visiting the West Biloxi Boardwalk. We call it Synchronized Seagulls. <laughs>